All right, so today we are going to be doing all these stages, starting with Countryside with the vehicle that I chose as my favorite from the vehicles, all the vehicles video, which is Moonlander, which is maxed out. Obviously, it's my favorite car, so I maxed it out. So, starting with Countryside, let's go on these stages. All right, so there's rope bridges. You guys probably know most about this. I mean, it's your home stage, so. But I'm gonna evaluate it anyways. Uh, quite bumpy and hilly. Lots of uh, rope bridges scattered throughout. That can be a problem if you have a car that's uh, not good for bumps or it's gonna get caught on the bridge going down like the fire truck or the tour bus. Definitely not a tour bus. Kind of a thing. Maybe a big finger would be good on this one. Um, or, um, but yeah. As you get farther, the hills just get bigger and taller. So that's about it. It's all the same. Next is seasons. So we are gonna go through one full year on this. I hope I don't die now that I said that, but we have to make it through one year so you guys can see all the seasons. Lots of hills. Plenty of traction. Alright, we're in summer. That was just spring back there. Summer has beach balls. Look out for those. They'll get jammed in your tires. little ponds of water. You'll get, uh, they slow you down quite a bit. All right, now we're in fall. Fall has leaves, and so leaves and mud under there, you can see the mud, are a problem. Traction is pretty good. Can't tell my gas level in the sky, though, in fall, because it's like... Alright, winter. We have ice, which is actually a little hard to grip. Little ice blocks. Those are hard to drive over, as you can see. Look out right here, it's a trap. I've hit that so many times in the beginning. Oh, no! Alright, so one year. Kinda needed to get on the next next one anyways. I mean, there's nothing more to see in you into it. You just you go next next season. You go to a spring, and then it has like a little celebratory fireworks that pop on the edge of the screen. So that's it. Desert. All right. So let's go. Rope bridges, kind of like the original board. Uh, fairly the same as uh, Countryside, the, the first one. Uh, lots of bumps, rope bridges sporadically, traction's about the same. I will say there's a lot less flat spots in, than uh, countryside, so so it, it is a little bit more bumpy. If I had to decide what was exactly the difference between desert and countryside, it's that there are more bumps, lots of little bumps throughout the whole place. But that is it. All 
Alright, Arctic. Yes, Arctic is less traction because it is snowy and icy, so. Rope bridges. Quite smooth. Way different than the desert. Desert was very bumpy. Arctic is very smooth. And uh, a lot less traction, so look out. Something like that. If you were going too fast, you would have slid, wouldn't have been able to stop, would have passed right over the gas. And that hill, being that it's really steep and right on the edge of the rope bridge, you're probably going to have a hard time driving at that. So Moonlander is awesome because you can just fly if you have a problem with traction. That is about it though, so we're going to go on to the next board because there's not much else. Highway. Alright, quite smooth, kind of like Arctic. I will say it's overall, even though it's smooth, it's much flatter, a lot less hills. I mean a lot less uh, big up and down spots, just overall about the same height. Alright, so we passed a thousand meters. That's about it for highway. Let's go to cave. Now cave is fairly a uh, bad place for the moon lander because the ceiling clearance, even when you're going slow, it gets really pinched down and if you start going far enough, there's nothing you can do. It just hits the ceiling because it's too tall of a vehicle. So I think we'll just go to that spot actually because it's not that far from here. Quite rough, uh, not too bumpy, lots of little bumps. Um, goes up and down, kind of like a tunnel. Uh, pretty close. Definitely don't want to go too fast in here. Like right here, it's pretty close. Getting pretty close to where he hits his head. I'm pretty sure the crown is there because that's where he hits his head every time. So 
Kingdom. Right there, and 11.59. So, the Moon Lander cannot possibly make it any farther than 11.159 meters in the cave. So, that's why I made the high score for in the cave with the rally car. Alright, so now is the Moon. Gravity here is not like Earth. So, very slow falling. Big air signs. Uh, something to note is when you fly, if you use boosters, your air time goes away and then restarts as soon as you start falling again. You do not continue to get air time when you are boosting. So when I stop, I boost. When I boost, I lose air time. And then it restarts. Seven flips. No, twenty-seven air time. Thirteen flips. All right. So, um, next is boot camp. Lots of muddy ground. Not muddy. Little bags you have to get through. There's gonna be tires coming up, so careful for those. Across the log bridge. Tires beware sign. And tires. Tanks can be so annoying. Just trying to get over them and then they get stuck and jammed in your tires and then you have to fly and that's why I love Moonlander. Come on, go away, tires. Sometimes those can be just such a big pain. The really biggest problem with things like obstacles like the tires or the balls, the ball bouncy balls in seasons is uh, they just slow you down so much that you might lose too much gas to make it to the next uh, tank. So it's not that they'll make you crash, it's that you, you just run out of gas or waste so much time on it. I'll just fly over these. Down there. All right, look out for the cliff sign. You really want to pay attention for those signs. Sometimes they're really useful. Don't hit that jump too hard. You'll hit the ceiling. But that is it. It's just that over and over and over. Tires, caves, muddy ground, log bridges, and that is boot camp. Let's go Mars. Gravity is uh, about the same as the moon. Yeah, I'd say about the same as the moon. One thing about Moon and Mars is you miss all the coins because you're flying, but you make so much more coins by flying than by actually hitting coins, so it's like a lot better. And then Mars has caves, so remember before on caves you had to be careful not to get hit your head on the ceiling, well now you got to deal with the gravity too, so it's like a bigger problem.
And if you do this, let's see what happens. Boom. So, it goes opens and closes, but don't be fooled when it opens. There is, there is a ceiling, so, or will be at some point when you're not expecting it, so you don't want to jump high in Mars. Christmas! All right, lots of snow, trees, those trees stump, the tree stumps you can catch your tires on, so when you rip off the top part of the tree and leave the bottom, like right here, nope, not there, if you knock off the top of the tree, the stump is left behind, and then you can catch your tire on that, and it can be a big problem. Of gold coins or gold wrapped chocolates. Gas was hidden behind that last tree, if you saw it. That is it though for Christmas, it is just hill after hill, trees and chocolates. Alien planet, the ground is alive, that is something you want to pay attention to. In case you don't like alive ground, it's a little weird, but I guess that's what alien planets are like. If you ever have been to one, it's very realistic. Can't argue with that. Um, traction. You have pretty good traction. Gravity normal. Very smooth. Extremely smooth. Nothing like desert or, uh countryside. The ground is perfectly smooth. attention to your gas level and how many meters until you're there so even if you can't see the gas you kind of know when you need to sl start slowing down That is it though for Alien Planet. Arctic Cave. If you are wondering, you do not die if the icicles hit you. And I mean that because boom, you live, you live, you still live, you still live. So you're good. Kind of like Arctic, but it's an Arctic cave, and so they decided to name it the Arctic Cave. Really good name. It was very rationally decided. Um, traction is as good as ice, so that's low. Um, lots of gas throughout the cave. I'm noticing that um, getting gas very. Uh, very short distances between the gas, I'm definitely noticing. Uh, 
rope bridges and uh, lots of icicles to hit your head on and slow you down. And uh, quite bumpy. And if you're wondering if the cave ever ends, that would be a no. It does not. Or at least as far as I've made it. Maybe, maybe somebody out there has made like a world record and hit the end of the cave. But no, it doesn't open up like Mars. Mars opens up to really big areas. Arctic Cave does not. And so let's go on to the next one. Forest. Yes, these trees are a big problem, and I mean that because they get stuck in your tires. I tried tractor on uh, on forest, and uh, I don't know. It just didn't do so well. It, it, I mean, it did, did destroy trees, but then it still has to go up the hills. So I will say, Tractor uh, destroyed a lot of the trees, so it was really good at getting through the stuff. But um, it couldn't go uphill and then drive over the tree stumps. And you could see like this, like that stump is stopping me from going. That is it uh, for Forest and a new record just by flying. Cool. All right, Mountain. Oh, wait a second. Actually, let's check my records for Forest. Previously, it was Hot Rod, so in my video where I showed records for Forest, it was Hot Rod, uh, but Moonlander beat it by 65 meters, so Hot Rod is not one of the four cars anymore that was uh, on a record, so there you go, Mountain. Bridge, uh, lots of tiny bumps, not smooth at all. Whenever I do hill, I just like to fly, and then when I need to get gas, I just swoop down just enough to touch it with the back tire. Because, I mean, how do you drive on that stuff? I mean, really. Alright, that is it for Mountain. Let's go to Ragnarok. The whole aura 
just changed. The ground is moving and the buttons are all different. And I'm very tiny. Get the gas before it goes under. If you're wondering why I'm going up and down, it's because the ground is moving. It goes down, and then I lose gravity, and then it goes up, and then all of a sudden I have higher gravity. So, uh, Ragnarok is one of the harder ones to play. And I believe I'm actually driving down an ogre's face. but it is a little fuzzy. Even the pause button is different. And I have a weird thing of gray around the gas and whatever those alien coins are. So it's definitely an odd board, not like the rest. Whatever that thing is right there, I don't know, but I could drive on it and it didn't stop me, so that's good. If you draw, um, blue ooze, okay, so blue ooze kills you instantly upon contact, so that is a no touchy. Even just the tip of your tire, you're dead. It was a very, uh, dangerous, uh, experience when I first touched it with the tire, and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't even have to touch the driver to it, I don't even have to drown in it. And there's a big jump I had to make it over because apparently you could fall in that. Even in the background, I think the ogre has, like, claws. Whoa. What even is that? It's apparently like a crusher on the jungle, which we'll get to. Blue ooze at the bottom of that pit. Don't want to go in there. Not for a swim, at least. Not even for a drink. Oh, and uh, just so you know, I'm not actually getting carried away. I'm choosing to stay on this board longer than the rest because I want, wanted to show you something, but I'm not going to be able to anymore because I died at, by running out of gas. If you make it far enough, there is actually a finger that is scratching the ground and it tries to kill you. So... 13,030 meters, so somewhere in between the start and there, it's like it's scratching its back and it's trying to itch you off, so that's a very fun thing to deal with when you're already trying to survive the blue ooze. Alright, mud pool. Mud pools are hard to get in, I mean hard to get out of and uh, you get dirty, so. Apparently he does not drown in liquid, which actually would be a better test to do in like a uh, jungle, they have deep water. And uh, if you make it far enough in seasons, it has uh, very deep lakes very deep, like when you get around to third or fourth year. That is it. It's just mud and pools of mud. So... That is it. 
we're gonna end it there. Volcano. Volcano is kind of like mud pool. It's got ground, uh, I mean countryside. It's got regular traction and ground, little pools of water, except for their lava. The problem or difference between volcano and countryside is if you go into the lava, you burn gas like crazy. So, even after you leave, you're still on fire for a moment. It's like, almost like I'm burning as much gas as when I'm flying. Which is a ton. So. See how fast my gas depreciates. Even when I get out, it's, it's still burning pretty quick. But when I'm out of it, and I'm not on flames, my gas goes much slower. So. And it's about this the same way, all the way to where I've made it to. It's pretty standard. As always, on difficult ter terrain stages, I just like to fly and drag my little tire behind, get all the gas I can. But that is it. Just trying to flip over. Cool. It's like, really, the one time you're trying to actually die and like it won't. It's like, I could use that luck sometime else. But nope, I had to use it up when I didn't want to. Beach. I like hovercraft on beach, and that's because it has a ton of water you have to deal with. And hovercraft, as we saw in all vehicles um, demo video, the uh, hovercraft does not slow down in water, so that is a huge advantage to other cars. Unless you're the moon lander, which just flies over the water. So it's all the same to me, and that's why I like moon lander. didn't even notice, but um, we have 1,500,000 coins, which is like enough to buy the fastest car. Yeah. We did it. We played until we've won. So, we'll have to do that on the next video. Factory. Fastest and uh, I mean HCR factory entrance. That's what the sign is. Oh, we have a new bar. So um, we have coins, we have gems, we have gas, we have poison. Factory packages falling out of the tubes. Conveyor belt. This is fun. I can't really reverse because it's trying to bring me forwards. can't really tell. I think that one's going backwards. Yeah. That one's going backwards. The other one's going forwards. There we go. We can tell now. So when you touch the packages, they eventually disappear. So that's a good thing, because you don't want packages to be, like, getting stuck in your tires permanently. Okay, so there's a little can. When you touch it, it explodes. Kind of. Kind of explodes. Alright, so I could fly over, but I'm not. Caution, toxic hazard. When you hit the cans, you do not have toxic... You, you do have toxic hazard, actually, at this flash. So, um, if you are... When your toxic thing gets to um, all the way, you die. And so, I'm going to get a carrot to eat. And, boom, all your poisoning is gone because carrots help you live. Don't jump too high, you'll hit the ceiling. I do that too many times on other tracks. Boom, and boom. Look out below. Woo! That's always a hard part for me. 
I mean, has been. Further down the road, there's worse things to worry about, so it's like, like a wall that you're about to run into, or a big pool of ooze that you're trying to live and get out of, but it won't want you to. So, yes, carrot, missed it, don't really need it anyways, I'm alive. That is it though, for the uh, factory, so. Roller coaster. Very smooth. Lots of hills. Very steep. <clears throat> Very steep. Definitely um, need a car with lots of traction. In my case, three wheels or can fly. And there's a loop-de-loop. -loop. Question. If I reverse, can I reverse the loop-de-loop? -loop? No. And if I fall, I can't go back up it again, so... Big loop de loop. You have to have a fast car or you cannot make it over the loop de loop. But that's why the roller coaster cannot make it past the first loop de loop, which is a big problem because it shows the roller coaster. Um, I mean, the, it shows the train on the loop de loop, which is, I mean, on the roller coaster. So, like, it should be good at it, but no, it is not. So, anyways. Don't go too fast or you'll miss the gas like that. Let's see if I can get the gas. Touchdown. Barely saw it hit the invisible wall. Oh, and just so you know, there is an invisible wall. So let's demonstrate. Boom. Invisible wall. Alright, that's it for Roller Coaster, going on to Knight, which by the way, he has a headlamp, and when his headlamp moves, it changes your field of vision. I don't see why we need a board that's night. I mean, it's kind of cool to see. I mean, there's a moon, but it's already hard enough to live, and now you're going to take away our sight? Yeah, of course I died. Couldn't see. Not really. I could have gone a lot further, but I like to emphasize that it's hard to see, so... Anyways, though, um... That was it. There was nothing more on that board. It's just night. No pools of water. No br no rope bridges that I saw. Rooftops. Chimneys. The smoke does not hurt you. Alright, well, that's a thousand meters, so that's about all we're going to see for this.
All right, rooftops, junkyard. Apparently we're on a bunch of stacked up crushed cars. You can see on the bottom. And in the background. hurt when his head hit that car but he is about to run out of gas so he's out and we made it I love that when you run out of gas and you make it to the next one let's land on this broke it off There's a guy working in there, and I think there's a car in there. In fact, it might be a one-wheeler or something, but whatever, he's drinking coffee. Alright, so construction. Kind of like rooftops, but with big bridges that swing. Very dangerous. Oh, I hate the teetering ones. Like, at least those bridges are solid for the most part. These ones are a little harder because they teeter. I mean, uh, swing. But then these are the teetering bridges with the single string, and those are just the hardest. So it's like three levels of bridges. Supported, then teetering, and then apparently there's ones with stuff and are teetering. So that's like a level four kind of a bridge. If I had to classify them. That is it though, for construction. Rainbows. That's weird. Yeah. Mushrooms on the rainbow bridge. There's a pyramid with an atomic symbol around it and an eyeball. Just all around weird and creepy. But anyways, this is Rainbow Bridge and this is why none of the other cars have made it very far. Because you kind of have to fly a little bit for the most part. Hey, the world in the background rotates when I go forwards. That is it, though.
All right, haunted. Let's go. Change of music. Pumpkins, crushed the pumpkins. All right. Of some point down. Oh, skeleton, crush. Whenever you see a skeleton, run. Unless you're in a car, because that means you can run. Lightning. Oh, um, in Haunted, there are lightning bolts, so look out for those. And I'll show you why when we get to one more skeletons. It's crush time for fun. Boom, boom. Still alive. We didn't get him good enough. Chase his head down. Here's a lightning bolt. And there's the pumpkin that's struck by lightning. So, if you were wondering what a pumpkin looks when it's struck by lightning, that's about pretty accurate. I mean, for the most part. I wonder what the skeletons would do if I just stopped in front of them and I didn't run them over. Hey, is that Joe inside the Oh, he's inside the house. And there's another one of him upstairs wearing a costume. struck by lightning you can be thrown like quite a bit away so you might crash up oh, let's see what happens okay go away push you forwards hey Oh my goodness, we know his name. This is a breakthrough. My friends have always just called him Joe. It's Bill. Flip in peace, Bill. All right, so if anyone wants to know his name, his name is Bill. From now on, I will address him properly. Stage North Pole. All right, let's go, Bill. Let's see what you got. Snow, chocolate wrappers, presents, and we get to drive into the house. Apparently, if you push the presents into the chimneys, though, you get points. So, let's see if I can't do that. Presents. Keep on rolling. Go on. You know you want to make it down the chimneys and earn present coins. No. They disappear if you do if you go too slow. All right. So gotta go faster next time. One, there's one, there's a couple. Come on, make it down the chimney. One, two, three, hooray! So 1,000 points per present delivered down the chimney. Two 
thousand points right there. Go present. No, you gotta make it. Oh, didn't make it. That is it though for for uh, what was this place? Christmas? No, Christmas is different. This is the North Pole. All right, nuclear plant. Apparently, this place is uh, toxic. We even have a radioactive little level uh, scale on the top left, like uh, like the poisoning from the factory food poisoning, and then the FD carrots to fix the poisoning. You don't get poisoned by just being here, though. Apparently, you get poisoned by going into the ooze. So there's little teeter totter, little teeter totters, and gas, and oh no, I'm gonna die. Apparently when you sit in here long enough though, you start breathing green air. But as soon as you get out, it stops. Oh, he looks sick. He needs to go see a doctor. So, I guess, it, I guess if someone turns green, it means they've been uh, radiation poisoned. Myth busted. Fully tested on hill climb. And uh, unlike factory, um, eating carrots does not help you because there are no carrots. Too bad. I'm pretty sure they would have cured radiation poisoning. So, big hills. Um, toxic ooze pools, um, teeter totters, and these things. They hit your head. But that is all you will see in, uh, in nuclear plant. Now to arena. How far do we got to go? Okay, not too far. I didn't do that right. Let's try that again. Alright, so in Arena, you have to start at the top of the hill. And it says no boost right there on that path sign. And then you go really fast down this hill and jump. And I'm not going to fly all the way. Because I'd like you guys to be able to see the ground. Alright, and then there's a sign. 171 best is 352. And uh, you'll see that in my farthest jump ever in hill climb video because hill climb is just, this is the only place where you can get a humongous jump like this ever in any other game. And then this is the only flying car besides rocket and rocket does not fly vertically. So it's not really of any help. These things will lift you up, if you're wondering. See, I'm starting to fly a little bit, and I didn't do that voluntarily. They also burn up your fuel, you start on fire. So, and there's little teeter-totter things, which I'm gonna die from now. And little pools of fire. So for Arena, you have to worry about the pools of fire, these fire spitters, and the rings, the giant, um, blue diamond things in the air that are surrounded by the loops you have to go through. If you hit the loop on, if, uh, on your head, you die. If you hit those those swinging bars on your head, you die. There's vehicles and big jumps. So that's arena. Quite a bit of things. Now we are at jungle. Jungle is that way. Good thing. Whoa. Alligator. Whoa, whoa. 
there is a thing in there. Some kind of thing of which I do not know. Treasure one of ten collected. And it gave me gas. Don't fall in the hole. So I have a question, and it would be really helpful to me if someone knew, because I don't. But is this Mayan, Incan, or Aztec? Please leave below if you know in the comments. And uh, let me slow down so you can see it clearly. There is your little monkey face symbol thing. Or it could just be nothing. They may it, may have made it up. But if you see further down the road, there is a temple. And in the bottom of the temple, there will be another treasure. Because I've found a few. Although I have not made it all ten, ten. Not made it to all ten treasures. Some people have made it to all ten treasures. So I'm a little jealous of that. But I do try. Oh my goodness, a serpent. And it nearly hit my head. And it, by the way, if a serpent hits your head, you die. It's as simple as that. It's very logical, too. Like, it's like real, real life video game. If the giant snake the size of your car touches you, you're dead. Very realistic. So slow down right here. Make it through quickly. Don't get crushed. Because that thing will crush you. giant alligator snapping its mouth for the first time, so look out for those. And, uh... Two alligators with their mouths open. And the alligators are getting hungrier as you go forward. Alright, well we're going to stop here. If I could go further, um, but I mean there's green snakes and stuff down the road, but they're like the orange ones. They're just snakes, so they're not much different. Neon is, however, a very different board, kind of like, uh, kind of like the uh, Ragnarok and the other place. I like the music though. Alright, I gotta pause for a second, so I'll get back to you. Alright, I am back. I'm sorry, that was my dog. She was she was thirsty and I wanted to take care of her because she's more important than the video games are. I'm very responsible, I take care of her. Alright. Neon, there we go. She's a nice dog. She's a big fluffy dog. And she's white. With a big black nose. And she's a great fearless. Alright, so we have neon trees. Neon ground. I'm black, but I'm glowing. I believe that would be called a black light. If anyone wanted to know what a black light is, it's black, but it glows. Not really, but it's fun to think about it that way. Um, so we have a bunch of bridges. They're falling apart and coming back together again. That's what neon bridges do. Oh, goodness. Whoa, the bridge is falling apart as I'm driving across. like they're dancing. Come on, come on, go forward. Gotta time it just right. All right, Prognosis. This is a very interesting game. So 
Prognosis has a giant snail right down here. Very giant sticky snail. What I mean by that is you can't quite touch it. You're kind of hovering over it. And when you want to get over it or past it, it's like, ah, it's attacking. It's attacking, get off me. Ah. Kind of like that. I guess that's what it would be like if you were if you ever found a giant snail. Slimy and sticky and wants to kill you. So these giant spring things are like apparently bouncy. Little floaty hills. Okay, so we made it to this gray, gray land. Ah, giant fish. And that fish, by the way, is way stickier than that snail. It will literally kill you but if you get too close, because then all of a sudden your car starts flying apart. Uh, go slow, slow, slow. There's a roof there with a tiny fish. It's also very sticky. They get tangled in your wheels. And look out! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! What? It's okay. I'm saying look out from the fish. Giant sticky fish. Apparently she knows what look out means. But she was looking right at me like, hey, what do you need? You in trouble? I'm okay. Alright, so that's the three worlds you'll find in Prognosis. There's regular, and there's dark rock, and then there's crystals with giant things. Eventually there's like TVs and light bulb jelly fixtures that fall out of the sky on top of you. And then they try to stick you, and then you die because there's not a way to get around them, which, by the way, I have, but very few times. It's very unsuccessful most of the time. Bogland. This is a cool place because the ground is squishy. And what I mean by that is don't stop ro ro rolling because you sink. And then you can't get out unless you can fly. So don't stop moving. And then flies, they try to get you. But they can't really hurt you. They also don't take away your gas or anything. Would be cool though if, they, if you had like a... Like, uh, you know how on the nuclear power plant you had like a certain amount of fluid of uh, toxicity and then on the factory you had like poison. Well, it'd be cool if on Bogland you had like a bar and it was completely filled green and it was your blood. And then like whenever the mosquitoes come to you, they slowly drain your blood and then you have to pick up like eat berries and then you get more blood or something like that. I don't know. Just something like uh, you lose points when you hit the uh, mosquitoes. And not when you pass by, but if they catch up to you. question you might be wondering is what are those tiny packages that are locked that are underneath the ground and I will answer it to you there we are so how this works is you stay still you sink and then you touch it, and then you find 25 gems. Sometimes other things. Whoa, there is a giant mosquito, and... Oh! The giant mosquito siphons your gas! Not good! And she's holding on to me! I should have raced when I could, and when I had the chance... Ah... Uh...
All right, so uh, forget the blood thing with the tiny mosquitoes. Apparently, there's a mother, and she is vicious, and she will drink all your gas up. So look out. Space mission. All right, so what happens when you go to space mission is uh, even when you choose moon lander and you hit start, you're not on the moon lander. Let's look at this for a minute. Let's start brand new. Conquer the planets. So I'm going to go into the unknown. Yes, I get points. Apparently there's a gravity field around each one and I get a mark a planet. Touchdown. Oh my goodness, there's an alien. No! Hey look, I made it. Spaceship, how would you like to see me? Oh! I knocked off the top. Spaceman. I, I'm not lost in space. What is it talking about? It, I think that was a glitch. Conquer the planet. Press both pedals to fire. I'd like to show you all something because I saw something really cool about Space Planet when I played it one time. by the alien spaceship it'll fly down land onto the top of your car your hatch will pop open and then you're gone it's alien abduction straight up and it says abducted by aliens so suburbs we have enough to get it but i am going to spend it on the fast car so but i'm lucky for you it's going to be in another video so see you next time